Hi everyone. I have a little fun project. I have this website, so to speak. And what it does, it draws on a canvas a smiley face. And it draws it using a library that makes it look like a Lego piece. So, how do I know that it renders the right shape right here? Because when you reload this, notice that it actually animates the face, it changes the smile. So what we have to do here is at the end of animation to take this canvas, save it as a PNG file and compare it to the good image that we saved before. Our good image is stored inside the images. This is the image that we know is good and shows a good smile. In our test, we have a test that downloads a PNG, then gets a file name and calls a compare method. This compare method comes from the plugins file, sees the compare, takes the file name and compares it to a good image. I'm using odif package to actually compare the two images pixel by pixel. So we have a little problem right now. If you see the test, it passes. But it only passes because I hard code 4 second wait for the animation to finish. Look at this, right? So it keeps smiling. Then after 4 seconds we take the image. Can I use less than 4 seconds? Let's say, can I use, let's say, 3? Well, the 3 seconds is probably enough time for the image to finish the animation and look like the good image. What about 2 seconds? Is the 2 seconds enough? But two seconds is enough. What about one second? Is one second enough? No. So now we have a pixel difference. The image we captured after one second is not the same as our good image. And we can see the diff of the pixels right here. In red, we highlight the pixels that are different between the current image and the good image. As you can see, the smile is not yet the same as what we expected. So, what can we do? How do we avoid waiting 3, 2, 4 seconds? We don't know how long we have to wait. What we have to do is to use retry. So, in Cypress, command retries are built in into save commands to retry. Unfortunately, we cannot retry by default this command, but download the PNG, but run the side task command. So, what can we do? Recently, I've written a utility package called Cypress Recurse. Let's use that to retry Cypress commands. So import recurse from Cypress Recurse. So this is a function. So let me just comment this out by skipping it. So I'll, I'll, I'll just run just this test for now. And what we will do, we will remove a wait and instead of just downloading the PNG, running the task, I'll say recurse. Now, recurse takes two arguments. The first one is a function we want to run. And it can have all the Cypress commands. So in this case, we want to run this command and then run the comparison. So we're going to do this and we're going to return. We need to return the Cypress chain so that we know when it's done. So this is the first function, but the second function is the predicate. How do we know when we should stop rerunning this particular function? Well, this chain yields an object. It will have a property called match. And we should stop iterating or recursion when this match is true. So we're just going to return this property. All right, that's it. So let's run it again. Okay, so what happened? We started the iteration, right? We said, you know, there, there's a limit on number of attempts, the time limit. So in this case, we got the canvas and we saved it and then we compare it. And here, the two canvases were still different. So the match was false because this predicate return false Recurse went back and reran this function again. Again, downloading the canvas, comparing it, and getting the match. So it downloaded, and again it was different. So it tried again and again. So you see, it's iterating as fast as possible. And about two 
you know, two and, two and, and a half seconds later, on the last comparison, it saved the image and the match returned true so we got the positive visual match there were no pixel differences and that's where the match returned true and record stopped iterating and then allowed the rest of the test to proceed and finish so cypress records can be used to do visual testing with retries of things like animated canvas 